Hello people, this is SelfTurks and in this video we will learn that how we can install Kafka Manager using Docker Compose. So during this installation process, we will be installing Zookeeper, Kafka and Kafka Manager as the three separate independent Docker containers and then we'll link all this container in between each other so that they can communicate and finally we'll get the graphical user interface of Kafka Manager. So we will be having a host operating system which can be any operating system let's say windows mac or linux so this is your host operating system and inside this host operating system you have docker environment installed so the prerequisite is what you must have docker installed and you must have docker compose installed then only you can follow this tutorial because if you want to run docker compose if you want to create containers then these softwares or applications must be installed on your system then only you can proceed Inside the Docker environment, what we will do, we will be creating a Zookeeper container, we will be creating a Kafka container, we will be creating a Kafka manager container and all these three will be able to talk to each other, which means there will be a connection in between them and they can talk to each other. The Zookeeper container will be exposed on port 2181 to the host operating system and inside the Docker environment, it is linked with the port 2181. So if you are familiar with docker port forwarding then you must understand that that 2181 port on host operating system is linked to the zookeeper container 2181 port same way we have this kafka container and it is linked with the host port of 9092 and here also 9092 same way for the kafka manager the host port that is connected is what 9000 and the kafka manager port for the docker container that is linked is 9000 now you can provide any port whatever you want on the host operating system so you can change the port number here for the zookeeper for the kafka manager and for the kafka for the host thing but the internal ports are fixed because while creating the docker image we have used this port so the internal port here inside the docker environment is fixed but you can change this port if you want i have already created a post where i have written all the configuration and the docker compose file so i'll also show you in the demo that how we will run that and how we'll access so i'll go to this chrome browser here and here first i'll visit to my website that is selfturts.com and here are the list of some post which i have written and in this one post will be there and the post name is something like kafka and kafka manager installation using docker compose so i will share the link of this post in the description below you can follow it from there also now here what we are doing when we are installing as we have seen three services will be created one is kafka second one is zookeeper third is kafka manager now this is the configuration that we will be using while creating all these three containers. So let's go to our Linux box and I am inside here my Linux box and inside the sandbox folder which is empty. Now what I'll do, I'll create a file, let's say docker compose.yaml file. So this is the YAML file. Now what I'll do, from the post, I'll just copy this configuration and I'll paste it here. So I'll explain you that what is happening here. So I'll take it and I'll paste it here. Now what happens, you can see here, we have a zookeeper service, we have a Kafka and we have a Kafka manager. Now the image which the zookeeper uses is this zookeeper, the original image. The Kafka is using this Ostmeister Kafka and the Kafka manager is using this image. You can search for these images on Chrome and you'll find all the details about them. In the zookeeper service, what we are doing, we are exposing the port 2181 from the host and the internal port is 2181. So as you have seen in this diagram, that 2181 port is on the host and this 2181 port is in the inside the Docker environment, the same thing is represented here. So you can change this, that is the host port binding, you can give it anything, 2800, anything, whatever you want and then you will be able to access the port from outside what you have given here. So we are giving it 2181 that is the default port being used in Zookeeper services. So we have taken that. Now the environment we are giving a unique ID to our Zookeeper service that will be running. Now for the Kafka manager same thing this is image this is container name then the port that we are exposing is what 9092 on the host that is external and 9092 port on the internal to Kafka. So that is represented here. So the Kafka port is 9092 and here also 9092. Finally, what we are doing, we are exposing two environment variable. One is the Kafka advertise host name. Now the important change that you need to do here is what you need to change this IP address 
you need to change this value to your own IP address of the machine. So the IP address of my machine is 192.168.0.10. So this is my IP address for this machine that I'm using Ubuntu machine. That's why I've kept it as this. Now the Kafka Zookeeper connected is what? It is Zookeeper 2181. Now this Zookeeper is matching to the name of Zookeeper. So that's why we have given it as a zookeeper. Now this Kafka manager is doing what? It is also having an environment variable of ZK host and this is also zookeeper, which means this Kafka manager is also connected to this zookeeper. So in this way, we are maintaining this link between all these containers. So you can see this, this is the link. So that link is being made using this environment variable. So the Kafka is also advertising on this port then the Kafka is connecting to the zookeeper using this. So because the service name is zookeeper, so we have used it zookeeper here. Same way for the Kafka manager, we are using this zookeeper. And we are exposing this Kafka manager on port 9000 on the host and internal also it is 9000. So you will be able to access this Kafka manager on this port 9000. Now all this configuration is there. Let's save the file and then run all these services. So I'll save this file using write and quit. And I will just hit the command word docker compose then hyphen f and the file name. So the file name is what it is docker compose.yml and I'm providing it as up. I'm not starting it in the background mode. I'm starting it in the foreground mode. So all the logs will be printed here. So I'll just hit it here. And what it will do is that if you are not having all those three images, it will try to download all those three images and then it will try to create the container. But I was having all those three images that we have used, which I'll show you here. I'm using these three images, Zookeeper, this one, and finally this one. So all these three were available on my local system. That's why it didn't download it. But in your case, what will happen? It will download first and then will it will start. So you can see all the logs are present here for the Kafka manager. You can see this is Kafka manager related log. This is Kafka and Zookeeper must be there. Now all the three services have started. And as we know that the Kafka manager is running on port 9000. So I'll go to my Chrome browser here and I'll hit my IP address 192.168.0.10 and the port. So the port is what 9000 and I'll hit enter and you can see with magic this CMAX server that is Kafka manager server is running and you can then see all the clusters and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add our cluster since our Kafka and Zookeeper is running, but still we haven't added any cluster to our Kafka manager. So what we'll do, we'll add a cluster and give the name of the cluster as self Duts cluster. Then we need to provide the Zookeeper host. So the Zookeeper host that we are using is what? It is with the name Zookeeper. So that's why we will write the Zookeeper host with Zookeeper and the port which is being exported is 2181. So I'll just come here and I'll say Zookeeper 2181. Okay, and the Kafka version that we are using is greater than 2.4.0. That is fine. Then we'll say this enable GMX polling fine. And then we'll also pull the consumer and then we'll also select this. So all these three configuration that I have selected is important. I'll not go into the details of this, but you need to select this and then we'll save it. So what you will do, it is saying done and then it is saying go to Kafka cluster. So you can see the Kafka cluster is there and you can see here that only one topic is present and the broker is also one. So the topic here is consumer offsets, which is by default created by Kafka. So this is a topic which stores all the offset and other information. So it will be needed when you go into the depth of the Kafka because I have also created a whole series on Kafka for beginners. You can follow that also to understand these things. But this tutorial is only related to Kafka manager. So we are doing only the installation part. Now, if you go to this self test cluster, you can add a new topic. So let's say I want to create a topic of users. Okay. And the number of partition will be three and the replication factor is two. So if I do a create, uh, replication factor two larger than the available number of broker. Okay. So as we are using only one broker in our Kafka cluster, that's why we can't provide more than one replication factor. So we'll again, this create user and we'll say the partition is two and then we'll say create. So you can see, go to the topic view. So users topic has been created and you can see all the detailed information. If you don't use this Kafka manager, then what will happen? You have to use all the different command line options, which Kafka provide. And that is very tedious to remember all the options and everything. So that's why 
I focus much on this Kafka cluster because it is not important for you to understand all the options because that is not needed if you're a software developer if you're a tester you just need to know how to work with kafka and kafka manager so from here you can see what are the different partition what is the latest offset and everything when we will start publishing messages to the kafka that we have started here on port 9092 then all the data will start to come here okay you can also do some delete topic add new partitions and everything you can do from here you can uh, install this you can follow this video you can install everything and you can play around with it let that what is topic how you can list all the topics that are present here how to assign partition how to reduce partition and everything so this was all about this video that how we can create a kafka manager installation using docker compose so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you